If you go to a doctor, it's because you recognize something is not right, right? Which means what? It's not normal for everyday living. Now, most people think that God operates on a case-by-case system rather than, than having an orderly and organized system. Yet all of creation exhibits an organized process. Disease is an aberration of the norm. Therefore, it is not normal for you to be sick. You get that? Therefore, health is the norm. Now, many people believe that God functions in the exception to the rule rather than endorsing and enforcing the rule. God's system of healing is the process whereby God restores things to the divinely endorsed norm. You got that? Now, the standard which God designed is health, which is what? Divine health. Divine healing is God's process of putting things back in proper order. You understand that? See, this doesn't sound so strange when you realize how everything was put together. His system of healing is at first divinely natural, which means what? Proper nutrition, exercise, and rest. That keeps the body in the divine rule. Now, it's divine because the idea and necessity of health and healing started with God himself. In Matthew 17, 20, he said, if you have faith, right? All things are possible, isn't that right? In Mark 9, 23, Jesus said unto him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. In Mark eleven twenty two. It says, and Jesus answering, saith unto them, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast in the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Now notice, this is the system of faith. It's a system. It works, okay? And it works in a certain way. If you can have faith, if you can believe, you can experience anything you believe. So you, now notice, so how can we guarantee that we get faith or believe faith? Well, Romans 10, 17 says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if you want more faith, get more word of God. When you get more word of God, then you have to act on the word of God. Why? Because it says in, uh, now notice, I just quoted 1017, Romans. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word, right? And now notice, then you act on that word. Now notice also, this is a certain system. So we could say it this way. God's system of healing is mechanical. The power of God is mechanical. Moses part in the Red Sea. Hebrews 11 says he did it by faith. What? Which is a mechanical system. You touch the Ark of the Covenant, you die. Why? That's a mechanical system. God spoke, and it became that system. In other words, here's the results if you do that. And now notice, the brazen serpent, look upon it and live. Mechanical. Don't look, die. Pretty simple, right? It's a system. When Moses, when Israel was fighting, Moses, when his hands were up, Israel won. When his hands came down, Israel lost. They held his hands up, Israel won. Mechanical system. Do you see how mechanical this is? Faith is a mechanical system by what, that God actually operates by. The system that pleases him and brings results. 